each officer has a vote. Each officer has a vote. So if one of my people in my precinct is elected, and they can't come to the convention. As long as they're of the same gender, yes.
all want to see at a point it starts to feel like it's just killing time. It kind of is killing time. Where we have speakers, you know, like I said, we do the Pledge of Allegiance, you know, probably have a national anthem song, um, an invocation, um, possibly a report from the chair, vice chair, secretary, um, th things of that nature, those kinds of business. Um, leading up and giving time in order for the credentials committee who have been getting all these sign-ins to get their numbers together, give them an opportunity to get numbers together so that they can give a report on how many people are here and that we do indeed have a quorum which is needed in order to have business. And so we can actually have elections. Um, it is the one report that happens without a rules report having been passed. Um, we basically follow rules, Robert's Rules of Order on that. Do you have anything you want to add on that part of it, Demi? No, for being back there and counting? We'll just try to crank it out as quickly as we can so we yeah. can get on to other parts of business. So, yeah. Uh, we hope to have, um, there's going to be a large number of delegates we're expecting somewhere close to where we have this 